and you're rocking with EVZ and TV gang. <laughs> shit, what inspired me to start rapping? I say, shit, the love, love I get from it, shit, chasing dreams, shit, just doing what do I do, I guess. Who I listen to younger, like people like T.I., um, who else? Who I listen to when I was young? Yes, anybody who's popular, I guess. <laughs> Who I listen to now? I listen to a lot of black young stuff. Mm -hmm. The most first favorite person I listen to, NBA young boy. She, I listen to Hood, Rick, Pablo, Juan, Seven Street, Carlos, Walt Beasy. Goddamn. See, I be trying not to listen to a lot of mainstream people. Cause I'm like, I don't know. So. There's a lot of underground music, Jada Young and shit like Young and Ace, a lot of shit like that. Cause I feel like the people underground, like they really better than the people who done made it. But I guess they feel like shit, he got more money than him, he a better rapper than he is, or shit and shit like that. So I feel like the people underground really be working hard, dropping way harder shit than the niggas in the industry. Cause the niggas in the industry, they just go put out some bullshit and then everybody like it. Cause they be like, oh, they in the industry, and then the nigga that really putting out the hot shit, they ain't gonna be giving them a chance and shit, so, mm, that's how I feel about it. What went in the right, I guess, the people in BRC just, like, kept telling me, hey, you gotta drop something, you gotta drop something, you ain't put no mixtape out in the wild, so, I guess, shit, I just went in there and did what I did. I guess, the name came up, because I feel like, we in Monticello, so shit, if I make it in rapping shit, it's out the blue because nobody knows about Monticello, so. And then I'm from blue, so it's just out the blue. We a family. Like, we a family, uh, record label. <laughs> we everything. We just BRC. Pretty much all I do right now, but like, I kind of want to take pictures and shit. Like, yeah, take pictures and do other shit. At this point, just stick to what I know till I get to where I want to be at. Then, probably have been dropping to something else. Nah, because it's just like, it's just at one point you just talk about it. Then, when you actually start doing it and you get there, you be like, damn, bro, I never thought I'd be doing it like this. Uh, I just, one of my one of my BRC brothers, they they own, they own County Road. So, we just go up there a lot to fuck with him. He be shooting videos and shit. So, we just be out there fucking with him, you know. Yeah, shit like that. It looks like shit. Nothing major. Oh, shit. Like I said, my boy, he shoot videos, and he just invited us to a shoot. And I really didn't know who, was, um, who all the people was at first, because they told me it was 21 Savage and shit. So I thought, I thought it was going to be 21 and all them, but it ended up being, you know, young, young bands and young scooter. He was just behind the scenes of a little shoot, little movie, watching boys do that. He just a cool, typical young nigga, you know? He's just on a lot of young nigga shit. They're chilling. We eat some food and shit, I was laughing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, really, bro. The song Gonna Flow, really, to me, oh, it's really, it's really old as fuck. Like, the song really was old, but I just never had took it to the studio because like, I was like, shit, it's fire, but ain't nobody gonna feel it. And I, so I just never recorded that bitch and just left it in my notes. And then, like, I got down one day, I just took it to the studio and asked to record it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I really kind of feel this. But I named it Gonna Flow cause shit, I guess I, I felt like I felt like I was rapping like Gonna Condo, so it just came out how I did. Shit. I guess I say love to JP cause shit. Oh my brother ain't here, so yeah, yeah love to JP. I ain't gonna say I miss school, but if I had a chance to go back to school, I'll go back and do that shit over again. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no doubt. A lot of people just expect shit to come, like, like you don't gotta work hard for it, like, and they're going to the studio recording anything, bro, that ain't, that's not really hard work, bro, that's just, if you, I guess if you go in the studio, you bullshit around, and you don't, you can tell, like, if you should rap, cause, like, rapping and stuff, it's not for everybody, like, that's not, not for everybody, bro. like, I don't mean that, like, discourage nobody or nothing like that, cause if you feel like you can be a rapper, then keep trying, but, what happens is it ain't for everybody, man.
It's like, yeah, it's like basketball and sports. It ain't for everybody. Some shit everybody can't do. Mm -hmm. But you just gotta keep doing your shit no matter what nobody say about you. Like, cause people gonna talk about you till you die. So if you let it get to you early, on um, when you first start, shit, you, you ain't gonna be ready for when it get big. Cause when, it, when you get big, you gonna have thousands of folks saying good and negative shit about you. So it's something you gotta deal with, I guess.